Hey everybody, Boftrees here, and welcome back to Crusade Kings 2. Now, last episode, I began my Holy War for the county of Pechenegg over here, which I'm sure changes to something less Altaic once I take it. We'll see. Um, it's going quite well. Who can I call into these wars? I'm going to try and call them in, just in case they'll say yes. They won't. I'm not going to. Um, can press weak claims on the Kingdom of France, Kingdom of Aquitaine, and, and Brabant. Claim Brabant. Did you lose the title of Brabant? Did you? No. It's just, it's... Oh, we converted to Catholic. That is unfortunate. Yeah, they're all Catholic. Not good. Oh, well. At least it's uh, a fairly strong duchy he's got there. So maybe Armenian will take root there. Up here, we've got Tanners that can created. Don't want to create any of them. Uh, I need to have my this kid educated. So someone died, I think. Have my heir educated, that'll be fine. Righteous imprisonment, this guy. I would get Shurukan back. Don't really want it. So, I mean, what's he done? Just been dishonorable, that's 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 fine. That's not imprisonable. And I can imprison this, my brother. He's looking a bit worse for wear, but he's attractive, so who knows. Why? Leader of plot. Kill Theodoret Cyrus. Who is Theodoret Cyrus? My half-brother? Theodoret the Young? No. Okay, so I'm not going to imprison any of them. Uh, I've got annoyed vassals, and I can press ducal claims for Quam, Hamadan, and all that. So nothing, nothing new. So I'm the game continues to run. Um, something I have to be aware of is that Mongolia is quite powerful, and I am a bit worried that they will, like, m rally and start doing damage. But for now, I should be okay. Should being the optimal phrase there. The Caliph loves me, which is very useful, because I don't want to, you know, be Hollywood into oblivion by him. Um, he's not actually that powerful right now. I mean, he's on 30,000 troops, which would destroy me. Not, not hoping hell I could beat that, but considering all the land he controls, is he gaining any decadence? He is gaining a tiny amount a month, which is still decent. Uh, this guy is also gaining decadence, but he's crushed about four decadence revolts already. They do need to make him more powerful, I think. Especially for AI empires. Maybe, maybe make him more powerful for everyone, but more so for player controlled, because players tend to know how to get around limitations such as that, whereas the AI is obviously restricted to what it's been programmed to do. Um, and if you make an AI too powerful, you get Terminator, so you don't need to go too far. Paradox. Just just make Deccan's Revolts more difficult. That's, that's all I want. I don't. I don't want genocide of the world. That would. That would suck. Um, yes. So this guy is still not dead, which is annoying. Um, I may. I. I may lose the kingdom of Bulgaria, which I put on the throne, just because of him having too many wives and sleeping around. But hopefully not. Because my son is the heir. He's half decent. Uh, sorry? What are you doing? Oh, you just improved relations with the ecumenical patriarch. I'm not... Uh, focus on more important matters. I've become ill. Okay, that's what happens when you focus on more important matters. You, you get ill. So never focus on anything, ever. Am I gaining war score at all? No. So why did they... It seemed to have lost some. I'm not sure how. Okay, so I fully occupy this. This is nice. I'll head to Belgorod. Actually, no. I'll go down to here. Olvia. Just because it's not defended by a castle, so that means I should be able to take it fairly quickly. Because the castle's already been taken by my allies. I'll allow the duel. Go ahead, man. If you die, I get your land, so it's not the end of the world. Right, so, the Kingdom of Massalia is doing quite well for itself at the moment. I do want to start, like, sort of get towards the stage where I can happily form an empire. That would be nice. Um, I do, I'm still not decided whether I want to go for a du jour or a custom. I think a du jour would be more, like, um, challenging. Because uh, custom, you just need prestige and 
random titles which you can get fairly simply. Whereas du jour, you need to stick to the actual requirements. So I think I will go for um, a du jour one. And obviously I'd prefer Persia. Persia would be a really nice empire to get, but I don't know whether I can... Um, hang on. What? This guy, who is a... He's a declared heretic, is accusing my vassal of being a heretic too. Um, I'm not going to do that. You need to, like, be killed. So I'll kill him. Shouldn't be too much of a, of a hassle. Just because of uh, the fact he's a heretic. Everyone will dislike him. And I keep improving relations with the ecumenical patriarch, not the actual emperor. Which is not what I want. I do want to improve relations with the emperor, not his court chaplain, essentially. Obviously, the, court, the ecumenical patriarch is slightly more important than that, but still, not fussed about what he thinks. So still not much in the way of resistance from the... Oh my god, look at... No wonder. They're in every war under the sun. I'm no longer ill, which is good, because I didn't want to die. Chief Deaths of Pereshin. So I'm going to ransom you, maybe. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. So... Um, what is going on? So I've got a... That game wrong. Uh, I've got my half-brother as my heir. He's a genius, so yes, he can stay as heir. That is more than fine. And I'll continue to occupy this land and hopefully win the war without much trouble. The longer I raise my levies, though, the more annoyed people are going to get, so I need to be aware of that. But no one seems overly fussed so far. Yeah, no one no one important seems fussed. 70% war score, this is good, this is looking very good. Levy reinforcements, that's also very good. The Knights of St. John. Fair enough. Where have they been given anywhere yet? No. The Knights of Hospitaller, they uh, end up with Malta in real life. I think they still control it. I'm sure it's Knights of Hospitaller. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, confront... Count Rupin of Sarkel. Oh, okay then. Uh, pay to have them both watched. Just in case, you know. My truce with the Shah of Persia is ending. Which I'm not going to take advantage of because I can't. I've learnt this time and time again. Cool. So they're not having an affair, which is very useful. Because that would suck otherwise. Is Kiev winning his war? Kiev in conquest of Korsun. Yes, yes, he certainly is. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm going to marry you off because you're amazing. I'm going to marry you to. Do I want Aquitaine? No. Someone I can get an alliance and also possibly a claim with. King Luitpold the Hammer. King of Hungary. That would be useful, to be honest. An alliance with him. And his name is amazing, so I'm going to go with him, yeah. So, let's have a look. Uh, I've just messed it up, haven't I? No, this guy. Matrilineal claim, he's a genius too. So, a very good chance of genius kinsman being born there, which would be fantastic. He's, caught, he's come to my court. Fantastic news. So I could end up actually pressing his claim on Hungary. Don't think I'd win it, but it would be useful. It would be entertaining. Might do that at one point. Uh, I'm going to go kill this army. It's just They're just there and they annoy me. So they're going to die. Oh! And I've had a strong daughter. Strong granddaughter. Strong niece. Somewhere. I got there eventually. Uh, you want to marry my random niece? Go for it. No claims to worry about there. Keeps opinion high. All good. I didn't kill that army. They got away. I'll somehow survive. I shot to the shadow. How the hell is he planning anything? Oh, wait, no. I'm trying to kill him, aren't I? Uh, do I really want to kill him now? He's no longer a, a rebel. So I'm not overly fussed. Elenia is getting a bit powerful. I will celebrate with beer. He became greedy. Fair enough. So, Elenia is an issue. I think they're getting a bit too uppity. 
bit too powerful. Um, actually, no, they're not. They've just got the dual borders. That's fine. Focus on more important matters, because I know they're not having an affair. They weren't before, anyway. So he is now my new steward. Who is my current steward? 17 to 18. Yeah, you're now my new steward. So I'll have you collect money. Wonderful. You're still trying to you're trying still trying to convert Samenda. Samenda still Yep, Samenda is still sunny, so that needs to get gone. If you could please. Um Yeah, so still just sort of occupying the land down. It's taken a while, unfortunately, just because there's not much war score to be had because it's such a large duchy that to get war score from conquering all the holdings, there's less war score from each one. I think that's how it works anyway. Because you obviously, if it's percentage based, I'd have thought. So if you if a, if a duchy is two counties and they have one holding in each, each holding is worth fifty percent of the war score for the for the, controlling it. I'd have thought. I don't know. I'm probably talking out my ass, but you know, study technology. There, why not? Improve relations, but also steal his stuff. My son is my son is of legal age. And this guy is a charismatic negotiator. Holy crap. Holy shit. Look at this guy's... Look at the moustache, though. That is unfortunate. But, you know, you can't you can't control everything. So, do I want to have this guy in my air? Or this guy? 27, 7, 12, 11, 10. As opposed to... 24, 15, 9, 9, 15. Hmm... Genius. I'm going to stick with my current heir for now, but I will marry him off. I'm going to marry you off to the... Should I get another alliance with Hungary? That could be beneficial. King Walder of Hungary. What an unfortunate name. Oh, Walter, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to marry you off to Princess of Hungary. And obviously I'll have other people that can be married off, such as this guy. You can go to Calabria. I'm not overly fussed about him. He's got a stammer, which is a bit mean, I know. But uh, I've got to think of the uh, the good of the kingdom. And if he can get us some land, or at least a dynasty holding some land, that's all good. Where's Calabria, anyway? Calabria's down there, okay. So another potential person on the on the Byzantine throne, that's the way you think of it. And Kiev has, has expanded, which is fantastic news, that means I can holy war them. Uh, who is this? Uh, I'm going to educate her. Let her rot. And you want peace. You surrender, and I gain all the land. Fantastic. Look at that. That's beautiful. So my moral authority should have just gone up. It has by a little bit, not by much, but it'll do. And I'm just going to give away the land. And we're back. So what I've actually done, instead of giving away the lands in Pechenek, which I noticed are really quite good. There's lots of holdings in them. They're, they're all sort of combined into one place. Uh, I gave away the lands that I'd taken in Azov uh, over here. So they, it actually worked out quite well because I had space for one more holding in my domain. And uh, there was four holdings in Azov, but there's five in, in Pechenek. So it worked out perfectly. So I just gave away all the lands here. And I actually gave Azov to this guy, the mayor of where is it? Az Azak. Now, I'm kind of debating making this into a merchant republic because it's a very good spot for it. Uh, just normally from, from past experience, the Black Sea is very useful to have as a merchant republic. But also, considering the recent update of the Silk Road, it ends in Azov. So that's got to have a benefit. Um... Yeah, trade. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it has some sort of effect. But yeah, so I'm going to create the duchy and give it to this guy. Now, obviously, I'll have to deal with uh, the negative opinion from his him being a merchant republic and me being feudal. But at the same time, he brings in a buttload of money, so it's fine. So, um, it also means there's another vassal who can elect, I believe. Maybe not du jour. No, no, he, he can't because he's not du jour part of Messalia, so it's fine. 
Elena is, unfortunately, but, you know, you, you make do. Right, so, um, that means I've now got lots of land, which at the moment is not as good, to be honest. Because it's got the recently conquered thing, but in time it will be very good, so that's why I've done so. Now, next on my list of targets is this guy. Because he's got 2,000 guys. But it means now I can Holy War for Kiev, which is the f full duchy. And it's very good land. I mean, look at Kiev. Kiev is beautiful. Um, unfortunately, it's only two counties. Um, or I could go for Paris Laval. Either way, I feel like Massalia has to unite. Like, through here. So, unfortunately, Kiev is going to have to go. Now, if I Holy War, that means all the um, Slavic people may get involved, which would not be very good for me. Um, however, there don't seem to be that many. There's Smolensk. But they're involved in a war. A Lithuanian war. Um, is Lithuania a remover or Slavic? It is Slavic. So I need to be aware that they may get involved. Which would not be good. But at the same time, I've got enough men to deal with them, I think. Of course, I will have to deal with the fact that people are not going to like going to war straight away. But I'm not too fussed. So, yes, I'm going to holy war for Kiev. Raise up my levies. Get nothing from Pechenek. What's it actually called now? It is still called Pechenek. That's a bit odd. Did you Pechenek? I'm sure it's, it changes its name. But apparently not. Fine. That is fine. So everyone can group up here. Actually just there. So it's just out of sight. So they can't attack me straight away. And they created the Duchy of Kiev. Good on you. Well done. That's what I'd have done. Unfortunately I'm going to take it from you. So. You know. It's a shame, really. Oh, well. I'm going to let her rot. Cool. I mean, I could have gone west or south. But no. I think my best bet is to take the land in the north while I still can, while it's not Christian. So I can just holy war them and uh, gobble up as much land as I can. And then when it gradually builds up, it will get better. Give me gold. Thank you. Random friend of mine. Anyone going to join this war? Everyone. I'm not going to call them in yet, just in case. Who's this kid? I'm going to educate you. Just because uh, getting some more Massalian Armenians that are eventually going to go back to their families and hate them is, is always good. I'm happy with that. And I've had another son. Well, luckily, I'm elective, so it makes absolutely no difference. But still, good to know. And my, my heir has got typhoid fever. So that should pass, or it's going to kill him. We'll find out. Everyone is contracting typhoid fever. This is... They've definitely made diseases much more virulent in the recent patch, because it's it just happens so much more, I think. It seems to, anyway. I, I've no, I'm noticing it more. Ah, you've had a genius son called Sakair. I'm going to keep him called Sakair. Sakair sounds pretty cool. Happy with that. And this is not out there. It should be. So combine them, march them over. Where are the Where are the Kievan armies? Lean forces in Leobuk. You're in, where Where are you? Leob. Sorry, Leob. Leobuk. Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay. He's He's defending his capital. Fair enough. Um. Stop sleeping together, or, like, making me think you're sleeping together. Come on, it's disappointing and confusing. So, yeah, I'm going to actually go and... I'm going to go to Kiev proper. And I am surprised that he hasn't moved his capital, to be honest. Maybe he hasn't, because I declared war for it. Normally, the AI will always put their capital to the du jour capital if they control it, which this guy does. So, maybe that is why he knew that... Uh, because I'm declaring war for it, it means that I'm I have to then I won't get as much war score from it as if it was his actual capital. Maybe that's why. That'd be quite clever. If they've got that written into their code. So we've got four thousand guys there. That's quite a bit. Have people joined his war? I'm imagining they have. Oh god, they have, yes. Most of Europe apparently. And I've one and someone else has contracted typhus. Which is unfortunate. Why are you not married off to someone? I thought I was marrying you off to someone. 
Uh, wh who do I want you to marry? Someone else. Someone else in Hungary. Why not? See, so yeah, I'm just going to occupy this. They can sit there if they want. Um, to attack me, they're going to have to come and get me. So, whatever. I'm going to marry... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to marry her off to the King of Hungary. Just so that I've got so many alliances that it's not even funny. The marriage ties will go through the roof. I don't think marriage ties actually stacks. I assume that it just sticks at plus 25. Well, it would be nice if they did stack. And I'm not sure, just because I took the time out to delegate out titles, if I'm overrunning now. But I'm going to play safe and end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.